Hello again, everybody. This is Derek at ScreamingGoalAirsoft.com, and today we're going to do a know-it-all uh, video on a Magpul ambidextrous sling mount. Okay, uh, they call it a ambidextrous sling attachment point or an ASAP. That's kind of cool. Okay. Um, Simple, comes in a Ziploc, okay? Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm also, this is kind of a dual purpose, I'm also gonna kind of explain how you would remove and change your butt stock on an M4 style AEG. Okay, so here we go. Let me zoom it in to this so you can see what I'm doing and do it. All right, this is an M4, this is a JG M4. And uh, with a standard buttstock on it, you know, the LE buttstock. What I'm going to do is, you got to have some tools with you, obviously. Uh, to be able to do this, you're going to need a longer neck Phillips head. You're going to need a star key, okay? Luckily, I have an electronics kit uh, by Curtis that provided me with a variety of sizes of star keys, and I'll show you where you would do those, where you might need those. Um, Allen wrenches, some Allen wrenches actually come with a little star key head on one side. Uh, if you might want to look for that. And, um, okay, here we go. Now, on this gun, or on, on most buttstocks, to remove this back plate, you basically pull this completely out. You're pulling. Normally, you, you do this to extend it, right? All that does is it just lifts it slightly so that you can so that this rod will go in each of these little holes. Well, I need to completely take it out. So I'm lifting it completely out and sliding it off. Simple enough, right? Good deal. Okay, now there's a little star key right there. That's the one I was talking about. Little screw. Whoa. Welcome back. I had dropped my star key, so I had to go digging in the carpet for it. Well, here it is. It's a little... Uh, you can't really see it, but it's like a five-pointed star, six-pointed star, five-pointed star, something like that. Fits right in that little screw. Unscrew it. It's a little screw, you just unscrew it. Comes out very simply. What that does is it removes the little cap plate that's on the back of your uh, stock. That, now that reveals a hole in your tube. Inside the tube, about right about there, inside the tube is a Phillips head screw, which goes into the back end of your receiver. Reach in, find that Phillips head screw, and unscrew it. Okay, once you unscrew it, that whole back tube should come off. There is a little plate, uh, retaining plate in there. There's also this long screw with threads on the end, Phillips head. Simple enough. And then you have a tube. And then there should be a little tightening ring on the end of your tube. And that's basically the buttstock. Now, on your receiver, there is a plate right here that you can remove or not remove. I think I'm going to try to not remove it. We'll see. Let's open up this Magpul ambidextrous sling point ASAP. I'm going to open it up. It is, first of all, at first glance, it's rough. It feels like it's made of sandpaper. It's got that, it's got a texture to it. Um, it looks like it will replace this piece, not lay on top of it behind it. Um, there is a ring loop that goes both sides, and I can attach my sling here and go either left or right, making it ambidextrous. Let's take this plate off. This is a little plastic plate. I'm taking it off, and I'm going to replace it with this. Now, should it go backwards or forward? My guess is forward because there's a little hole, there's like a little, um, I don't know, nipple right there that will fit right in that little indention on your gun. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, that's where it goes.
just slides over the tube right there. Now your tube has a left and right groove and on your ambidextrous sling it has a left and right groove and it also has on the left and right it has a little v-shaped point on both sides fit right on the side of your gun so that it won't uh, swivel or pivot or whatever. Boom, that's perfecto. Okay, so then we go ahead and put your buttstock back on. Let's put this screw inside this plate. Let's put it back inside the hole and screw it in place. Um, you probably can't see that. Okay, I forgot. Okay, I put it in there with the screw hang dangling out the bottom. I'm going to put my screwdriver in and I'm going to apply a little pressure on that screw so now it's not wobbling, it's just sticking out straight. So that when I put it on the gun, I can put these threads in the hole in there and then just start tightening it up. Did that make sense? I hope it did. Made sense to me. And I'm tightening and I'm tightening and I'm tightening. Okay. I got to a point where I wasn't paying attention. Okay, let's get this back in the hole. There it is. Do I want to tighten it too hard? No, I don't want to strip any threads. There you go. It's in there nice and tight. To tighten, to give it additional support, there's a little ring right there. I just hand tighten that down on the ambidextrous sling point. There, that is completely on there. Good to go. Now, what do I do with this? Don't slide that back on because I have a back plate right here. Put that in. Get my star screw thing. back on and screw it in place. You can't see any of that. My hands are in the way. But you get the general gist. Tighten that up. Okay. Hand tight, hand tight. Not excessive because I don't want to strip any threads. Now I take this and I put it back on. It won't go forward because I have to lift this up to get it over the threads of the holes, now it's in there. Okay, so now I've got my buttstock back on and I've got my little ambidextrous sling. Let me uh, zoom out and show you why I even bothered putting that on there, okay? All right, this is, what, this is why I attached the sling or the sling mount. This is a bungee sling, okay? This is my uh, Condor bungee sling and I'm converting it to a one-point sling. Now to do that, I take the sling and I hook it to itself. It has a ring here specifically designed to do that. There. Now, instead of a two-point sling like the buttstock and the front of the gun, like a lot of rifles are, this now just has one sling point, which is right here. Okay, now I would take my ambidextrous... Okay, I'm opening it up so you can get to the clippage. And I will mount this to the little O-ring right there. So now I have it mounted on a sling where it can dangle off my shoulder. Okay, now you're saying, well, I, you're, you're, what you're thinking is, well, you could have done that on the, any sling point. I could have attached it here or wherever. Well, now when I lift it, the sling is attached there and not back here. So when I go to my arm, the sling is up here somewhere, okay? So when I'm coming up, the sling's not in the way, right? There's no sling up here getting in the way of anything. The sling just goes straight to my buttstock, the back side of my buttstock.
Now, why don't I just get a plate with a, with a hook on the left side, right? That's what you're thinking. Why don't you just get a plate with a hook on the left side? Well, you can, but this is an ambidextrous sling. So when I'm doing transition from shooting around a corner this way to wanting to shoot around a corner this way, I can. The sling moved to the other side. It will move with me. So I'm shooting around a corner. Bam, bam, bam. And then what if I'm at another corner? Bam, bam, bam. Guess what? That ambidextrous, left or right side. Boom, boom. I need to practice that, I guess. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. You know? And then you're on both sides. And that ambidextrous sling will switch sides with me no problem whatsoever. And then, if I just want to relax, I'm good to go. If I'm cruising along, my hand is right here. I just need to bring it up. There it is. Okay. Well, thank you for coming out and checking out this video. Appreciate you uh, watching. And remember, guys, whenever you're on the airsoft field, play safe.